hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful top i'm still setting it up but i have tried it on and uh, these are the images that i've taken i have a good image here of how this top will look like on you and this is one of the designs that inspired the shelly butterfly top if you have tried it out um this stitch shouldn't be very near to you so i decided to do an approach here for this tutorial uh, for the size extra small to small this is what i'm going to be demonstrating for all the other sizes i have the instructions towards the end of the video because i tried to incorporate each and everything while i worked and i found that it was going to be a very confusing video for you guys so i will first teach you the general construction of this top and then when we come to the end of the general construction i will be giving the instructions of how you can expand this top to give you a well-fitted top depending on what size you are today we're going to be using a two millimeter crochet hook i have my yarn here it's a blend of acrylic and cotton this is alize cotton gold and i'll be using a two millimeter crochet hook you'll need a darning needle and a pair of scissors and that's it let's jump into the video we shall first work on one broke up and then we shall work on the second and then we see how to put everything together and then we also have these pretty straps that i'll be teaching you how to make and the rest of the assembly of the top is just a walkover the moment you get um, the general knowledge of how to construct this top so let's get started all right so you're going to grab your two millimeter crochet hook and your yarn and you're going to start off with a slip knot so for a slip knot you just yarn over like this create a ribbon like shape insert your hook into that loop that you've created yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through then at this point you can let go of the bottom and then pull on the tail so that is our slip knot let's go on to the beginning ring of the top so you're going to make a chain of six one two three four five and six once you have your six chains you're going to come back to the very first chain that you made. I think the light is too much. Let me try to turn it down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go into the very first chain that we made with one slip stitch. So insert your hook, pull through all. And that will create a ring at this point. So I hope the color at the base or in the background is helping with the vision. So we've created a small ring. Now we're going to make a chain of three. This is row one. Make a chain of three. And then into the ring that we created, that little ring, we're going to place a total of nine double crochets. So one, a double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, you will have three loops on your hook, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. So we want a total of nine double crochets. That's the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth so we have a total of nine double crochets and then a chain of three at the beginning so meaning we have a total of 10 double crochets but then if you're a larger size now this will apply for a size small extra small to small now we're going on to row two you're going to make a chain of three which counts as our very first double crochet go into the very first stitch which is this one and place one double crochet chain one and two more double crochets into the same exact first stitch so one and two 
so that way we have created some sort of shell and then for the next stitch you're going to place a front post double crochet so a front post double crochet you yarn over go under the stitch under the next stitch like this and push it to the front pull up a loop and yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two this is going to start creating ridges as you can see here that's the use of the front post and the back post double crochets in this pattern so after your front post double crochet in the next stitch you're going to place two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets into the same stitch just like that and then in the next stitch you're going to place one front post double crochet so just like we did here you're going to yarn over push the next stitch to the front and then place your double crochet as usual just like that and then you're going to yarn over into the next stitch you're going to place a shell which is two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets and then in the next stitch you're going to place a front post double crochet so yarn over place a front post double crochet into the next stitch sorry for the noise the dogs are on fire i don't even know what's wrong with them so from here you're going to go into the next stitch with a shell which is two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets and then from here you're going to place a front post double crochet into the next stitch just like that and then you're going to place a shell into the second last stitch this is for the size uh, small, extra small to small so for all the other sizes you're just going to continue until you have only one stitch left which is the chain three at the beginning of the previous row so i'm at that point where i have one stitch left which is the chain three as you can see here at the end you're going to go on top of that chain three with a normal double crochet so if you follow these instructions to the t you should be having a total of one two three four and five shells for three you're going to make a chain of three turn your work and then we're going to go into the chain one spaces of the shells so into the chain one space of the first shell you're going to place two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets into the same exact space just like that and then we're going to skip over the next two stitches those two stitches are the two stitches of the previous shell and then you're going to go into the next stitch with a back post double crochet so for a back post you turn your work onto the back side and then go under the stitch just like this and work your double crochet as usual so the stitch that had a front post double crochet in the previous row uh, gets a back post double crochet in this row so from here you're going to go into the chain one space of the next shell and place a shell which is two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets just like that and then you're going to skip over the next two stitches and then a back post double crochet into the previous front post double crochet of the previous row just like that and then a shell into the next shell so we're going to repeat that all the way across until you place a shell in the very last shell of your row so shell back post double crochet 
shell and then back post double crochet and then I'm placing my very last shell of this row which is uh, two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets just like that and then into the very last stitch which is the chain three on top of it you're going to go in there with one double crochet on the topmost remember at this point you have five shells for by the time you get to this point you should know that the side that doesn't have ridges when you're working on a row that's on this side then we place back post double crochets then if you're working on the side that has these ridges then you place front post double crochets so for size extra small to small this is where we're going to end our journey with the two double crochets chain one two double crochets so we're going on to row one two three row four i'm going to change the construction so after a chain of three you're going to go into the stitch before the chain one space of the shell so the chain one space is here you're going to go into that stitch before and place a double crochet there and then into the chain one space you're going to place two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets just like that and then you're going to place one double crochet into the next stitch so that means the shell is now changing from two chain one two to three chain one three then from here you're going to place one front post double crochet it's because i'm on this side but if you're on the back side i believe for the medium to large size you're going to be on this side so you will place a back post double crochet so from here you're going to place um one double crochet in the stitch before the chain one space and then two double crochets in the chain one space chain one and two more double crochets into the same space just like that and then into the next stitch you're going to place one double crochet so that has balanced the three double crochets that we have on this side onto this side so from here a front post or a back post double crochet depending on which side you're on so just keep repeating that all the way across all right so once you place your last shell of the row you're going to go into the very first stitch or the very last stitch the edge stitch of the previous row and place a double crochet on top of that chain three and that marks the end of row four now we're going on to row five we're going to make a chain of three turn your work you're going to go into the chain one space of the first shell and you're going to place three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets into the chain one space just like that and then you're going to place a back post double crochet And then into the next chain one space of the next shell you're going to place three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets into the neck the same space just like we have here and then a back post double crochet into the next stitch after skipping over the next stitches of the shell of course because we are trying to align these ridges then from here continue to do that all the way across 
all right so after your last shell you're going to place one double crochet at the end of our row and now um this marks the end of having three double crochets chain one and three double crochets for the shell all right so we're going on to row six and you're going to make a chain of three turn your work and then in the stitch before the chain one space of the first shell you're going to place one double crochet like that and then into the chain one space you're going to place three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets into the same exact chain one space just like that and then you're going to place one double crochet in the stitch after the chain one space just to balance the four the, the four stitches that we have on this side and the four stitches we have on this side separated by a chain one space the chain one space may seem to be a little bit small but it's there and we can see it so the fact that we are on the right side of our work we are going to place our front post double crochet in the ridge that's what i'll call it and you can see the lines running upwards so from here you're going to continue to repeat that one double crochet into the stitch before the chain one space and then into the chain one space you're going to place three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets and then you're going to chain one three double crochets into the same space and after this you're going to place one front post double crochet into the ridge because we are on the right side of the work so repeat that all the way across until you're almost at the end of your row and i'll show you how to wind up so i'm placing my very last double crochet into the stitch right after the chain one space and then from here you're going to go into the very last stitch on top of the chain three and you're going to place a double crochet there and this marks the end of row six so uh we are going to repeat this two more rows actually let me let me cross check from here yes uh two more rows placing four on this side and four on this side of the shell but keep in mind that um the side where you are determines where whether you put a front post or a back post double crochet into the ridges in the middle of the shells so two more rows so let me begin the next one chain three turn your work place one double crochet in the stitch right before the chain one space there you're going to place your first double crochet there and then into the chain one space you're going to place three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets and then into the stitch right after the chain one space you're going to place one double crochet just like that and then since we are on the wrong side of the work and the ridges are popping on this side that means we are going to place a back post double crochet into the ridges all right something like this then you're going to continue to do this all the way across don't forget we are still having four double crochets on each side of the shells so this will be my first row and then i'm going to do another row of this so 
so you can see what we are creating we are still maintaining the ridges to pop on this side alone so finish up your row and then make another row but this time with a front post double crochet into the ridges because you'll be on the right side of the work So we're coming to the end of this row. This is row seven and you're going to place one double crochet on top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row. So this is what you'll have. One more row, you're going to make a chain of three, turn your work, one double crochet in the stitch before the chain one space of the first shell then into the chain one space three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets and then you're going to place one double crochet in the stitch right after the chain one space of the shell and then a front post double crochet into the ridge because we are on the right side of the work so go ahead and finish this row as well and then I'll be back to show you what to do next. Alright, so we are done with row 8 and uh, it's time to switch it up a little bit. We are going a bit wider than what we have here and uh we're now going to do something different for row nine row nine you're going to start with a chain of three turn your work and into the stitch before the chain one space of the first shell this time we are placing two double crochets instead of one double crochet so the stitch before the chain one space <coughs> sorry we're going to place two double crochets one and two so into the chain one space you're still going to place three double crochets so that makes a total of five double crochets on this side of the shell this time and then chain one three double crochets into the chain one space one two and three and then the fact that we have to balance this side and this side to make a complete shell we are now going to go into the, the stitch after the chain one space with two double crochets so the only change here is that um, the stitch right before the chain one space and the stitch right after the chain one space uh, each of those stitches is getting two double crochets instead of the one double crochet that we were doing before so go ahead and work your row as usual not forgetting that this time the shell has five stitches on both ends all right guys um we're coming to the end of row nine and i'm placing my very last double crochet and this is what you'll have we're going to go ahead and work row 10, 11 and 12 um, having five stitches on both ends of the shell and in order to achieve that you all always just place uh, two double crochets in the stitch right before the chain one space and two double crochets in the stitch after the chain one space and then into the chain one space you place three double crochets chain one and three double crochets so that will make a total of five stitches on both ends of each shell and yeah let's go ahead and do three more rows and i'll meet you back when i have that for now i'm at row nine and i'm going to do three more rows in order to bring me to row 12. so all right guys we are at row 12. if we can cross check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve 
So we have 12 rows right now and that's where we're going to stop. We're going to now create an edging for our top or for our bra cup. So you're going to turn your work and place a treble crochet into the chain one space of the first shell. Like that. And then yarn over twice to create a second treble crochet into the same space. One, two, and three. So that's what we have right now. Now you're going to go into the same chain one space with eight more double crochets. So once you have your eight double crochets, you're going to go into the next stitch. Depending on which side you're on, you're going to place either a front post or a back post double crochet. So the fact that I'm on the wrong side, I had to place a back post double crochet. From here, you're going to go into the chain one space of the next shell and you're going to place a total of 10 double crochets. After your 10 double crochets, you're going to go into the next ridge with a back post or a front post double crochet, depending on which side you're on. And you're going to repeat this all the way across. 10 double crochets into the chain one space, then a back or front post double crochet. So I've placed my 10 double crochets into the very last shell and I'll go on top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row and I'll place one double crochet there. This is what you'll have. Now from here, we are now going to start creating our straps. So, um, you're going to make a chain of three Prepare for a double crochet by yarning over and go into the same space with one double crochet. And then you're going to make a chain of three. Go into the space between the two stitches here. Go into that hole and place one double crochet. And you're going to repeat that until you have a total of 35 segments. So the segments that I'm talking about are these ones. You're going to keep building. So far I have one, two, three, four segments. Uh, I have a detailed video on how to make these chops and if you would like to check it out, please uh, click on the link on the screen and go and give them a try. These are my go-to straps and they're sturdy, they're stretchy, they're strong, they are functional, they don't dig deep into the skin even if you tighten them. So they're my recommended straps. So keep building until you have your 35 segments of the strap. All right, so I ended up doing a total of 35 segments for my upper strap, as you can see here. I have a total of 35 segments altogether. You can make more segments if you want your strap to be longer or less segments in, in order to get a shorter strap. So from here, you're going to make a chain of three and then go into this space, the very first segment and place a single crochet. Now we're going to be working all the way back on our strap in order to make it thicker. So chain three, single crochet into the space of the next segment, like that. So go all the way down. So I want to show you how the strap looks like. I'm very sure some of you guys on this channel have tried this strap on several projects because I have a detailed video of it and I've used this same exact approach on different straps. It gives a steady feel as well as something very strong and reliable as opposed to a plain chain. So go all the way down until the very first segment of the strap and I'll meet you guys back there at that point. Okay, so we are back to the very first segment of the strap and I am placing my single crochet there after the chain of three. And this is what our strap looks like, our upper strap. So if you want it longer, that means you will have made uh, more segments for your strap. 
so uh, let's go on to the next step we are now going to work all the way down until we get to this point the exact middle tip of the top where we started from so we're going to place two single crochets in each and every row like that two single crochets this will help us create the edging as well as uh, bring us to the point where we want to create our second strap all right so when we come to the end almost towards this point we've placed two single crochets in the very first row as you can see here now we are going to place one single crochet in that ring where we placed our very first double crochets of the first round place a single crochet and chain two and then place one double crochet into the same space so we are creating our second strap so let me say this is the upper strap on this side this is going to be the outer part of the bra cup so this strap is even going to be longer than this one this one is going to wrap around the neck and then this strap is going to go all the way to the back to create that bikini top so for this one i think i will do a total of 50 segments remember this one had 35 now for this one i'll do a total of 50 segments chain three one double crochet into the space between the two stitches below so that space there just like we did for the first strap chain three one double crochet chain three one double crochet in the space below so we're going to continue building our strap until we have a total of 50 segments this time so i've made 50 segments for my second strap the side strap of the top and uh, i'm going to go back on that segment just like i did for this one as you can see uh, this one is, in, is not yet finished so we want it to get to this level where it's thicker and well designed so we're going to go back on that segment of on our strap of 50 segments in the same exact way that we did for our upper strap so chain three one single crochet into the first segment like that and then chain three one single crochet into the next segment and we're going to do that all the way back to the beginning where we have our very first segment of the strap Okay guys, so we've come back to the very first segment of the side strap. I just noticed that the single crochet stitch was worked on the wrong side of the of the top. As you can see, we worked it on this side that has the back post double crochet stitches, but it doesn't really show on this side. So we shall leave it like that. But if you want to change it, then you're going to have to make sure that the single crochet stitch is worked on the right side but i think it's no big deal so we can go ahead once you place a single crochet in the very first segment of the side strap you're going to make a chain of three just like we have here and then into that ring that we created at the beginning you're going to place one single crochet there 
so you're going to have something that looks like this just identical to the upper strap and then from here you're going to make one single crochet in sorry two single crochets in each and every row just to create an edging for our for our top two single crochets in each and every row or in each and every double crochet space just like i'm doing right now all right so this is what we have right now and in the very last space which we have here you're going to place two single crochets and then skip one stitch and slip stitch into the next just like this now from here you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn pull through so this is what we have guys um this will be one side of the top so as you can see here this is the side strap that's going to go all the way around the back and then this is the upper strap that's going to tie around the neck at this point we are done with the very first part of the of the top the very first side and now we are going to do an identical piece to this one in order to create the second brack up and then we shall come back and put everything together and kind of accessorize this whole design so that we can get a very finished look so yeah i think that's it you're going to grab your yarn and repeat the same exact process for a second brack up all the way to the straps once you get to the straps uh i'll give back at that point to show you what to do exactly so that you don't get confused about the whole process so just do the cup and then i'll meet you back at the straps so we are at this point when uh we are done with our second bra cup as you can see uh, this is our very first bra cup and this is the second one so once you get to your second bra cup when you finish you're going to have to place your work like this like this so that the tail that you left behind is on the inside and then uh, you're going to place your other bra cup like this so just look what I'm doing uh, look at what I'm doing and you're going to have to place your work like this this is the side strap and this is the upper strap now you can see we've ended at this point not at this point just like we have here so what we are going to do is we're going to make a chain of one and cut our yarn leaving behind a tail because we want to replicate exactly what we have on this side onto this side just like what we have here and then we are going to get our yarn and reattach it we are going to reattach our yarn on the upper side of the top the reason why i placed it like this is because this is the right side of the work the side that's facing up is the right side of the work so um what we are going to do is to attach our yarn in the topmost corner this side and then we're going to chain three and one double crochet into the same corner so what we are going to do now is to build the strap just like we have on this one we did a total of 35 segments for the upper strap so i'm going to go ahead and do that a total of 35 and then go back on the strap just like we did for the first strap you can rewind this video and see exactly how to work this strap so we've made it all the way back on our strap and this is the upper strap as you can see now we have something that's balanced both on this side and on this side so these are the straps that are going to go around the neck like that like this and then 
we are still going so we're going to work on the edge of this broke up just like we did here the only good part is this time we are on the right side of the work but it won't show trust me so you'll chain three and then one single crochet into the corner of the top and then we're going to start creating two single crochets in each and every row or each and every double crochet space Two single crochets just like we did here so go all so when we get to this ring you're going to place one single crochet there just like we did for this part and then you're going to make a chain of two and one double crochet into the same space just like this and then for this uh, side strap we did a total of 50 segments so i'm going to go ahead and do my 50 segments come back building onto the strap just like we've done here and then i'll meet you back at that point because this video is going to get longer than it already is okay guys so after making my long strap the one that had the 50 segments i went ahead to do the two single crochets in each and every row and then ended up doing uh 20 segments for this part that had this loose end remember it when i placed my work like this there were loose ends here on this side so i went ahead to do 20 segments and then went back on it just like we've been doing for the previous straps and i went ahead to do to reattach my yarn and do the same exact thing on this side 20 segments because these are the shortest and these are going to just tie here let me just get the loose ends out of the way these are going to just tie here in the middle of the top just like that so this is what we have and at the back if you turn your work to the back you will have these straps the long straps of the 50 segments or whatever number of segments that you did for your long straps these ones are going to tie at the back of your top these ones are going to go right behind your your neck these ones at the back and then your body is going to literally be in the middle section here and when you turn it to this side this is what we have forgive the straps there are so many they're so long but that's basically it that's how you make this top now i'm going to explain how to how you can alter this top to fit larger sizes because this was for a size extra small to small and for the larger sizes now that we already know how to construct the top uh, when it comes to the beginning instead of having a chain three and nine more double crochets for size um, medium to large you're going to have a chain three and 11 more double crochets and for size extra large to 2xl you'll have a chain three and 13 more double crochets then uh, when you start working and building your work you will end up with a total of five shells for size extra small to small six shells for size medium to large and seven shells for size extra large to 2xl when it comes to these divisions you can see here there's a shell and then a ridge then a shell here then a ridge shell ridge shell ridge shell so these are the shells that i'm talking about the fact that we have a total of five divisions here for the other sizes uh it will increase by one for all the other two sizes so for size medium to large you'll have six shells for size extra large to 2xl you'll have seven shells now you'll go ahead and keep working just like we've been working our small to medium size our extra small to small size sorry and you'll keep working and uh remember when we had a total of three stitches on both sides of the shell once you get to row one two three four five we have five rows where we started uh, on row six that's where we introduced the fourth stitch on each side of the shell 
now you will increase by one row for size medium to large and for size um xl to 2xl you increase by two rows still making three stitches on each side of the shell i don't know if that is that's making sense but um i'll put it in writing in the written pattern i'll try my best to explain it as best as i can so one more row for this for medium to large and two more rows for this for size extra large to 2xl and then from there you will move on to the four stitches on each end and for this one we had a total of one two three three rows now that means for size a medium to large you will have four rows of having four stitches on each end of the shell and for size um extra large to 2xl you will have five rows of having four stitches on each end of the shell then you will go on to the five stitches on each end of the shell and for this one i did a total of one two three and four rows for size extra small to small so for, for medium to large you will have five rows of having five stitches on each end of the shell and for size extra large to 2xl you will have six rows of having five stitches on each end of the shell so the moment you get the construction and you know the general instructions of how to expand this pattern this is going to be your most the easiest pattern you ever come across um i i don't believe it's a challenging one so the moment you get the number of rows that you need for the different sizes then the edging just remains the same so you will do the edging just like we did for the size extra small to small the only difference is the number of shells will keep increasing because from the beginning we had a different number of shells for the different sizes so for example here we have one two three four five for size medium to large you will have six for size extra large to 2xl you will have seven shells so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure i give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you in my next video go ahead and weave in all these tails i forgot to mention that get your darning needle or you tie the knots or do whatever you have to do to get rid of the loose ends and thanks for watching i'll see you in my next one bye